Near. End them. End? Like what? The price for their lives has already been paid in full. Now that we've finally obtained the Aegis, the fewer living souls know about it, the better. I, I can't do that. These people haven't done anything wrong. I don't understand you. Now, now. Have you forgotten why you came here to begin with? Nia? No, but... Oh, for the love of... Fine, I'll handle it myself. What the... was the worst shout of all time. What kind of a battle cry was that? Rex? You and that sword can't be! It's kind of low to stab a man in the back. You bloody psychopath! Pyra! Here! Cover me! Got it. Jin, leave him to me. Sorry, kid. I can't let the likes of you just claim her power for yourself. This is as far as it goes. Yeah! Aegis, over here! Just leave it out! Give it a rest, Malos! Can't you see he's just a child? A child? Don't make me laugh. This kid made yeah. himself the Aegis' driver! The Aegis' driver? Rex is... Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. You are done! Thanks, Pyra. You're welcome. Now, don't let up! Yeah! Ha! Ha! Ah! Everybody, go! No! Quick! Yeah! Mallow, here! I don't think so. Can a nobody like you? Ah, but with those eyes, I guess I should have been more wary from the start. What do you mean? Like I tell you. So, uh, party formation has changed. What time am I at? I'm already, like, that took, that went way longer for cutscene than I thought it would. I'm already about ten minutes over an hour. I think I'm just going to record two hours because I want to play more. Although I will say, I very rarely complain about voice acting specifically in video games, mainly. I do a little bit in anime, but, and I watch sub-anime, but I always play video games in English, and I'm not really one to argue incredibly over sub-dub. But 
Rex's voice actor in combat, that yell of his is actually terrible. It's the stupidest thing I've heard in a video game in a long time. But hey, you know, whatever. Let's do it. We have our blade now. Okay. Time to take Rex has been brought back from death's door as the driver of the Aegis. No, I thought we were actually dead, not just at the door of death. Uh, so you might need a quick primer on how a driver fights. The first thing you need to know about is affinity. See that bond of light connecting Rex and Pyra? I'm always going to want to say Pyra when I see her name. I have to remember it's Pyra. This represents the affinity that exists between them. When affinity glows golden, it is a sign that the minds of Blade and Driver, Blade and Driver are in harmony, movement speed will go up, and recharging arts will speed up. You can strengthen affinity in battle by staying physically close to your blade and hitting home with as many attacks as possible. Ah, don't worry, I'll stay as close to Pyra as I can. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, Klondike bar. On the other hand, if there's too much distance, affinity weakens, which will weaken the driver in turn. Keep Rex's affinity with power in mind when fighting Malos. I, I mean, let's Blind do this. Spot. Bring it up, dude. Come on, no, get closer to me so I can hit you. Come here. You're going down. Pyra, you just stay as close to me as you can. I'm just going to stand here and continue to swing my... Rex? I, I didn't hear what you just said. I was talking. Don't ever talk over me again. You should know this. Let me just, like, go ahead and start throwing out arts then, I guess. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Just now, Pyra activated a special effect that boosts your accuracy. This type of in-battle assistance is called a blade art. Blade arts are the one of the tools in a blade's arsenal, and blades will use them automatically during battle to support their driver. Sick, I don't have to worry about it then. The better the trust between driver and blade, I don't know why the T in trust is capitalized, but sure, the more support the driver will receive. As for trust, that's a topic for later. We can go into the details when you've gained a bit more experience as a driver. I'd rather just you get all the tutorial stuff out now, but whatever. Right now, you should probably focus on defeating Malos. Yeah, I agree. So maybe, so that I can focus on killing him, you should stop throwing tutorials in front of me. Ha! Don't back away from me, Malos. We're fighting to the death right now. I'm not going to bother with trying to get behind you and whatnot, because it's probably not going to work, because I have no one to help no one to help draw aggro, so I'm just going to hit you when I can. I do like this fire, Monado. It's pretty sick, if I do say so myself. Can you, like, you just told me to focus on fighting Malos, and now you're just going to continually give me more tutorial dialogue? See the gauge that just filled up? That's the icon for your special. Ooh. Specials are among the most powerful attacks in a driver's arsenal. Arsenal, Far outclassing ordinary arts. Specials are charged up by attacking with arts. You can charge specials to three levels of power. So I'm, for me, basically, I'm always going to get to level three then. If you use an art at the precise moment that an auto attack hits home, you'll charge up specials more than usual. Oh, no. Timing things. When you do this, you'll see a success indicator. Also, when you use a special, you'll need to execute a button challenge. Oh no. Follow the prompts on screen and hit the buttons at just the right time to multiply the damage dealt. Oh no, quick time events. Attacking the enemy with a special may even give you a chance to perform a blade combo, but I'll tell you more about that at another time. No, give me all of the tutorials now so that I don't have to deal with them anymore. All right, as soon as I get yeah, an auto attack, I use one of my, right there. No I pressed it way too late, I guess. Oh, I didn't have the back attack ready. I thought I did. There we go. I got that one. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I am so good at this. There we go. Perfect. I'm almost up to level three, and as soon as I am, you're as good as dead. That hurt. I still got plenty of HP, though, but I want to pick up this HP. Thank you. Oh, no, no, no. Get close to me, Pyra. We stay next to each other at all times from here on out. Never leave my side. I shouldn't have. Oh, no, it didn't take. There we go. So close. Oh, we got it. We got it. Let's do it. Here we go. Oh, I have to spam clicking it? I didn't realize that was a thing. Right, now let's talk blade combos. After you assault an enemy with the special, you'll see a gauge at the top of the screen indicating the window of opportunity in which you can use a blade combo. The possible routes for the blade combo will also be displayed on screen. Okay. If you can hit the enemy with another high stage special before the game runs out, you'll deal much, or before the gauge, before the game runs out, before the gauge runs out, you'll deal much more damage than a regular special. If this makes sense. Why not? Uh, the enemies are, stop, <laughs> stop tutorials. The enemy's just been hit with a special. I'll bump, I'll, I'll bump up your special level for you just this once. So try to catch them with a blade combo. That seems unfair. But you know, sure, whatever. Here we go. Excellent indeed. Oh, he's dead. Sucks to be him. I guess the blade dies whenever the driver dies. Or gets defeated. Not dies. This guy's definitely not dead yet. You're good, kid. It's no simple feat to control the Aegis like that. However.
Don't get cocky, you little shit! Juba! Understood. What? Get out of the way, Nia! Have you gone mad? You're the one who's off your net, wheeling on a child! Nia, I don't think you quite comprehend your position. I get it, but... You're starting to piss me off! to remind everyone that this is a Nintendo game, by the way, as you watch Pyra here jump around. You're pretty sharp for someone who's only just woken up. Pyra! Takes me back to 500 years ago. What's the deal with that appearance? I'm guessing your goal is Elysium. That is our dream! Then I have no choice but to stop you! You're a tough one, kid. But there's only one way this can end. Oh, shit. What's that? Sex Machina! Hooray! No use. They're out of range. Damn it! They gave us the slip. Turn around. We're not chasing them. The Aegis is awakened. That's enough for now. I'll have Akos hunt them down. 
<laughs> That'll have to do. Man, a lot just happened. Chapter 1, Encounters. <laughs> yeah. That was a lot. Am I the only one feels like that was a lot? I don't know. I kind of would have liked it if we had gotten, like, another hour or two of gameplay with Malos and Nia and whatnot. Because Nia was pretty quick to just turn to our side. I mean, obviously she has a moral compass and was like, no, I'm not going to kill random people, but still. Whatever. Wait a minute. Can I have multiple blades? I mean, why would I ever want a blade other than Pyra, though? <laughs> Could question me. Uh, leaving the save screen. That is okay. Yes. We've got a lot of stuff to figure out, right out the bat. And so, Papunin wisely ran away for dear life. Wise? Who wise now? You useless idiot! Why can Papunin not even die properly? What if they ask Banner to repay money? Hmm. Huh? Die? Repay who? Meh, none of your business. Anyway, tell me where Rex and Blade went. Rex, Titan, and friends ran away. Went to south of Cyclist Sea. After that, Banner knew as much as Papunin. Storm was very thick, so Papunin... Papunin lost them, yes? Yes, but... And then, run away like coward? Yes, but... Ma, 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 ma! Bad enough wanting feeble excuses of Papunin! Just get back here! You got lot of work to do! Ma, ma, ma! Even pricey insurance banner takeout on Maelstrom go to waste! Still, how interesting. Heading southward from Cyclist Sea. In current season, that likely take them to Gormont. You, go! Get Consul Dougal on the line, immediately! Yes, sir. One moment, please. Why, if it isn't Chairman Banner! What an unexpected pleasure! May I just say that I admire how you rebranded those broken core crystals? And selling them onto the Dunderheads back in Morar Den. Absolutely sublime! Banner did not call to hear pointless flattery. And blubbering about core crystals on unsecured line? Is Dougal some kind of idiot? What if Endor tap our communication? Oh, of course. I'm very sorry. Man, forget it. We got bigger fishes to fry. Oh? What's going on? Listen up. All right, so Bana is furry Jabba the Hutt. Got it. Also, the guy on the video there looks like from looked like he was from Majora's Mask. But anyways, 